Mm -hmm. And so the area of interest is interpretation of the estimates that we get uh, from uh, the estimators, okay? So to start with, the estimation or interpretation of the estimates that we get from or uh, uh, from the OS estimators is that they are divided into three stages. There's first one, we call it level to, to level specification. So there are three types of the models that we have. We have the level to level specification. There is the level to log specification and log to log. So you have to pay attention to the question. Okay, the way how it is asking. Is it a level to level? Is it log to log? And then, because each interpretation just suits the, the type of the model that uh, you have, okay? So the values of Y are regressed on the values of O, of X, that is level to level. So this is a simple model that you have, you have O, y is equal to beta one. Sometimes you call it beta naught, okay? Plus C beta two x plus the error term. So now the slope, the slope beta two is given by the partial derivative uh, dy all over dx. You know this from the basics of calculus, that it means that the change in y as a result of who? the change in x variable, right? This is actually the gradient, okay? This is a gradient. This is the gradient, I'll define the gradient. It gives us the change that, occur, that has occurred in the y variables because of the changes in the x variable. That is called the dy over the x, right? Then that is actually, the rate of change of y, okay? So dy is the, the rate of change of y and the, with respect to x, I've already interpreted that. Now, what is the interpretation for such a model, right? You say one unit increase in x impacts y by beta two units. That's the interpretation. When you have a, low, a level to level model, a model like this one, y is equal to beta one, or if you want to, since you're used of beta naught, you can call it beta naught plus the beta one x plus the error term, okay? You can call beta one, you can interpret beta one. Beta one means what? One unit increase, okay? one unit increase one unit increase in x the independent variable impacts okay impacts the dependent variable y by what by beta one units is that clear yes that is what that means now um, it is very very cardinal that you be specific when you're mentioning the values of well, the, the variable X and Y, you be, you, you be specific because in your question, like these values will be given, the, the, the variables will be given, like X, which is the independent variable is this one, the dependent variable is this one. So assuming we are regressing uh, the impact of what? of education or learning or not, on the earnings, isn't it? Education on earnings. So earnings is our Y, then education is our X. So you can say one unit increase in education impacts earnings by beta one units. Is that clear? Hello. It is. Yeah. So, 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 and again, the other part that I want to specify, you will also be interested in knowing the units that are in question, for example, for X variable. What are the units 
Okay, in short, how are they measuring education? If they are measuring education by the number of years and uh, then earnings, they are measuring it maybe by a unit is a thousand kwacham, for example. You could interpret it like, you know, a one year increase in education impacts the earnings by a thousand kwacha. Did you get it? Yes. Like, like examine the units, like what are the units in question that are being used? If the Y variable is measured in a thousand quarter, that's one unit. And uh, who is this on the X variable, which is the number of ed education is maybe counted in number of years. Then you can say one year increase, that's a unit of course, uh, impacts the, the earnings by beta one or by a thousand, uh, you know, impact the Y by dash dash uh, units. So for example, if the, the units in earnings are a thousand, then you find that your beta one is 2.13, okay? You multiply this 2.13 by 1,000, it should give you 2130, isn't it? Yes. So it means that a year increase in education increases your earnings by 2,130 kwacha. Did you get it? Yes, very, very important. That's how you interpret a level to level. So they are all the level at the level, okay? The other interpretation that we have is a log to log, okay? Very, very important, a log to log specification. Now, when we say a log to log specification, what are you talking about? In short, it means that we have introduced the natural logs that transform the value of y and x. So they, they transform and change the values of the dependent variable, uh, which is a regress and on the natural log of the independent variable, okay? So what it means is that on the x y variable, we have introduced a log. You say natural log of y. Remember previously we had just y on the level to level is y is equal to what? Is equal to beta naught plus c beta one x plus. This is the the level to level. But now we have introduced the logs. So have beta naught plus c beta one natural log of what x plus the error term. So we've seen that uh, we have introduced the natural logs on the independent variable and the dependent variable. This specification is called a log to log specification. Is that clear? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. So how do you interpret a log to log specification actually? The partial derivative of beta one is given as, you know, the, the y natural log of y over the natural log, sorry, not the y, the natural log of y over the natural log of x, right? So this one, what it does, short, it is measuring the change of the natural log of y because of the change in the natural log of, of x, right? That's what it measures. So the natural log of y, it shall be equal to dy over, you know, dy over y divided by dx over x. This is actually equal to 100 times dy over y divided by 100 times dy or dx, not dy, dx over 
So it's a ratio of the percentage changes, if you have observed. These changes, the dy, the dy and uh, over y, and the dx over x is actually times 100. It's a, it's a ratio of percentage changes, OK? Yeah, it's a ratio of percentage changes. So now, <clears throat> you can note that the, when you use the mathematical results, uh, from calculus, you remember what we learned in calculus? We learned that the, the natural log of x over dx, meaning differentiating the natural log of x with respect to x, it is equal to 1 over x. That's from the basics of calculus, how to differentiate the, na the natural logs. Yeah. The, 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 you remember the, the differentiation in the calculus of the logarithmic functions. So you can get to understand that when you are learning calculus, you learned that uh, the natural log of y over dy is equal to one over y. Still the, the, the same thing. So just to do the, 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 it's more like the reminder of what you learned in calculus. So this expression for beta one is equivalent to a ratio of percentage changes, as I said, for y and x. So now, the percentage change is 100 times dy over y, which is same as 100 times y, one minus y, y not this is a change in y divided by y not I've seen it huh? so so yeah. this is now the, the, the expression when you change the y y one minus y two divided by y not so y one minus y not divided by y not times 100 it gives you a percentage change in y is that clear and similarly for x it shall be a percentage change which is 100 percent you can still relate it like this still the same thing x1 minus e, x0 divided by x0, right, times e, 100. It's the same thing. That is the change uh, in the x variable, the percentage change in x variable. Okay. How do we interpret this now? You can say 1%, 1 increase, 1% uh, increase in e, In the, in the X impacts, impacts what? Eh? Y by beta 1%. Did you get it? So now the, 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 the interpretation has changed. You are now using percentages. Okay, you're using percentages. So you can say 1% change that is, you only use percentage to percentage for natural log, the log to log specification. When the model is specified as logs, natural logs are introduced, then you can interpret using percentages. Don't use the units when you're interpreting a log to log specification. Is that clear? Yes. So for example, you can say 1% increase in X, which is the education, 1% increase in education impacts y by, you check your beta two, your beta one, yes. If your beta one in the model is, let's say, beta one, which is in this case standing for beta two, it is, let's say, 0 0.11, like this. So you multiply this by 100, right? Make a percent. So you have eleven percent. So you can say one percent increase in education impacts the earnings by eleven percent. Did you get it? Yes, got it. Yes. So you use percentages for a log to log interpretation. Okay. 
The other specification that we have is called a level log specification. A level to log specification. Very, very important specification. Now, the level to log specification, it actually examines the values of y, the regress on natural logs, transformed values of x. Okay. So you can say y is equal to beta naught plus beta one. Okay. The natural log, the natural log, the natural log of x plus e plus the error term, isn't it? We're trying to be consistent. So you observe now the level to log. It means that the y variable is the level, right? It's just uh, the linear model. Just, just it's, it's, it's a level. Then the the the, the, the x is a log. You get it, right? Eh? So this yes. is it. X, this is your Y variable. So in that case, how do you interpret? So from the basics of calculus, we can learn that beta two, which is actually the slope, the gradient, or uh, beta one, the, the gradient is measured as a dy over d natural log, okay? D natural log of x, isn't it? Which is actually yes. same as dy over dx times the dy over the natural log of x. This is equal to dy over dx over x. You know, dx over x simply means that I have already represented this in the previous slide. I said that it means the change in y as a result of x. So, yeah. So this one, the dx over x is the change in the x function as a result of the same x value. That's dx over x. Like, like the, the, sorry, the change in x is divided by x. So when you say dy over x over x, like the same change is divided by x. Like the dy over the x is change is divided by x. So, <clears throat> so what happens is now here is that you can just basically divide 100 to obtain the denominator in percentage terms just get a hundred to those units. So for example, you can get beta one divided by a by hundred. So you find a ratio of changes in Y and the percentage change in X. So Y will change in ratios, then X will change in percentages. You get it? So make sure that your beta two is divided by, by hundred. For example, if you find that your beta two is 35. Divide this by 100, it shall be 0 0.35 units. Get it, huh? Yes. It will be units now. Once you divide by 100, it shall be units. So you can interpret as the interpretation will be 1%, 1%, 1% increase in what in x in x impacts uh impacts y by beta one divided by 100 units that is for a level to log specification okay so you can say one percent increase in the, in the x which is the, let's say education impacting earnings so you can say 1% increase in education impacts earnings or salaries by beta one divided by 100 units. So if you beta one, I said it is 35, you divide that by 100, you have 0 0.35 units. So you shall say a percent increase in 
education shall impact the earnings by beta by 0 0.35 units. So just get your beta one and then divide it by 100. That is for the level to log specification. Is that clear? Yes, it is. So we've seen that the, 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 the interpretation will follow the model that is in a question, okay? We'll follow the, we'll follow the, yeah. Then the other specification that we have is a log to level specification. The previous one was level to log, isn't it? Level yeah. to log. So now, what if you have a level to log specification? Level to log specification. So this simply means that the y variable is a log, then the x variable is a, it's a level. The logs are interpreted in percentages, right? Yes. The logs are interpreted in percentages, then the level in units. So how do you go about it? And the, the interpretation would be by multiply by 100 to obtain the numerator in percentages. And for beta two, you can say, for example, 100 beta one shall be equal to 100 times dy over y divided by, which is change in y, divided by y, divided by dx, okay? Which is divided by the change in x. Actually, this will give us the, the ratio of the percentage changes in y and changes in x, okay? The, 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 the change in y shall be in percentage, whereas the change in x shall be just the change in units. And the interpretation will be one unit increase, one unit, one unit increase in, in x impacts, it impacts what? It impacts y by 100 times beta 2 percent. Hello. Yes, I was saying that a unit increase in X is impacting Y by 100 times beta 2 percent, okay? Times 100 times beta 2 percent. Wow, this is very interesting. I've observed, says the, you have 100 times beta 2 percent. So for example, you can say one unit increase in education impacts the earnings by 100 times bit 2%. So it's just check beta two, check the beta two, which is same as beta one in the model that you have used. Then you multiply that by 100, then it's percent, okay? That is how it shall be. So the example is obvious will do better. Here is the, the output, the state output, right? So I will not really dive very deeply in explaining the output as yet, but 
I will have time to have a session, a specific session. So for this one, I'll concentrate just on this one. So this is the model that you have. If you check, this is these are endings, okay? This is your Y variable. So endings equal to what? This is the constant, constant. You know that the constant is beta naught, right? Yeah. That's what we said last time. So you have negative 4.66. Um, then plus C, the slope, this one is the slope. And our slope is 1.36, uh, okay, 1.36 uh, beta one plus C. Oh, that's a beta one. There's no need of writing beta one. X plus C, the error term. So what I'm trying to say is that on a computer, the software will give you the the package will give you those who can get for you beta down. There's no need of suffering. Beta one, beta two, one of it. Like those things will be given. Okay. And this is how they are given. You get it? So this is your beta one. This is your, your constant. So your model has come out. No need of suffering. But if, if we check this model, what model is this? What, what specification is this? When you look at it, you have earnings here and the coefficients here. Okay. So this model is actually a level to level. Okay. It's level mm -hmm. to level because there are no logs introduced at any point. It's level to level. So how do you interpret the level to level? I said you use the units, isn't it? You use the unit in the interpreting. Okay. So you can say uh, another year in education increases earnings by 1.36. You use the units, which is the 1.36 is a beta, right? Uh, sorry, is the beta one of X variable, which is the. Um, this is the sensor of why. So it's, you say one year increase in education. Observe that now we are specific. We have not said the increase in X because we know the X that is increasing. It's education, schooling, S is for schooling. So we know that a year increase in schooling uh, increases the earnings by what? Two? By 1.36 units. Now we check those units. If they are in a quarter, you say quarter. If they're in a thousand quacha, you just multiply that da, 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 and you're done. Is that clear? Yes, it is. Okay. Very important to understand that. We have another example. Are you able to see my output? Yes, this I'm able to output. see it. So the regression of the log on earnings. Okay. Learnings log. So what about this one? Check that now you have introduced logs, right? You have introduced logs. This is no longer earnings. It's now learning. So I've introduced error. So this is the same as the natural log of y is equal to the beta naught plus the beta one natural log of x plus the error term here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we've seen there, there are logs, even on the X variable, there is a log, right? On the Y variable as well, there is, there is a log. How do you interpret? How do you actually interpret? Okay. So what did you say about the log to log interpretation? Do you remember what you said? Okay. Say that you use percentages, isn't it? Yes. Both sides. So if it's log to log, we just use percentages. Just know that a log is for a percent. Then for what's that? For the level is for unit. So yes. basically, the model is a log to log model. So the interpretation of a slope, which is beta one, shall be a, a one percent increase in education increases earnings by one point. Okay, let me write the model. So our model will be that is equal to beta naught is a constant, this one. 
already said it. It's negative 0 0.10. Let me say 5, 6, rounding out of two dimensional classes. Plus the beta one, you see 1.17, isn't it? Yes. Uh, the natural log of x plus the error time and y, the natural log of y, that is, is equal to that. So you can say in the interpretation, 1% increase in education, which is your x variable, increases earnings by 1.7%. I told you, you just put by beta one times 100%. You get it, time? Huh? Yes. Mm -hmm. Any question? Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Great. Then um, the other the other model that we have. <laughs> what about this one? Now we concentrate on this one. So this is you see that the, the earnings which is your dependent variable is logged. So it's natural log of y is equal to beta naught plus c. The, the, the x variable is not logged. So beta one x plus c error term. This is the model that we're doing. It's actually a log to, it's a log to level model, right? Hmm. It's a log linear model. So it's a log, linear model, which is same as the log to level model. So what is the interpretation there of, of a slope? Just as I said, you can have to divide to, to multiply, you know, the, 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 the to convert the, as is the output into percentages this is the, yeah which is the coefficient the percentage is found by the coefficient beta 2 beta 1 times 100 right that yeah. is the, that is the percentage so um, your coefficient here the constant is 1.31 plus the, the coefficient is 0 0.1 zero, let's say zero nine, or if you, yes, zero point, okay, can we just write there how it is, zero point zero eight five nine, right, yes. x plus e, the error term. So you can say uh, one year in education increases earnings by, uh, 8.59 percent that is to say you multiply this by 100 okay so 0 0.085 times 100 there's nine here there's nine here so that is how you get that okay we have another one for the fourth example is of the linear log model or level log where you have seen that now the trend variable is not logged isn't it so this is just as y is equal to beta naught plus e, a beta one the natural log of x plus the error term check that the Schooling, the independent variable is logged, but the y variable is not logged. You put the values, the coefficient, the, 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 the beta naught is negative 3, 3.8, 1 plus C beta 1. Beta 1 is 18.34 natural log of x plus the error time, isn't it? So you can say in interpretation now, 1% increase in education, okay? One increase in 1% increase in education, it increases earnings by 0 0.18. Why 0 0.18? Because of said 
coefficient, this one, 18.34. We have divided that by 100. Remember what I said? I said when you're dealing to, with the, a linear log model or a level log model, the beta, the coefficient of the x variable should be divided by, by 100. Okay? Then, he, so, yeah. which changes the, to 0 0.18, rounding it to two decimal places. Okay. Now, if you check, we have just said units, just changes to 0 0.18 units. So if you are using quacha currency, you can say uh, 0 0.18, that is 18 in where, isn't it? Yes. So a percent increase, that is if you are, you are measuring it in ingues. If you're measuring it in thousands, you already know that that will mean a thousand. So you can try this by a thousand. That should give you 180. So it means that one increase, one year in the education increases. A 1% increase in education will increase your earnings by 180 a quarter. You understand, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So basically, that is what is there. So is there any question?